How much longer? Jerusalem's that way. Let's get going. <laughs> okay. Wow. Welcome to Israel. Welcome to Israel. <laughs> <laughs> In this video, we're going to hike from Jericho to Jerusalem. That's 50 kilometers or 30 miles of ancient road. That's the path of the Good Samaritan. That's what Jesus spoke about in the parable, the man walking from Jerusalem to Jericho. This is the path that Jesus would have taken himself throughout his ministry. It is so exciting. We've been waiting to do this for a long time. And when we told this to Charlie, the pastor, of the Superior Word Church in Sarasota, Florida. He said, Do you mind if I come along too? We thought it was a joke, but here he is. <laughs> it's unbelievable because Charlie doesn't like to travel. And for him to come here just for two days to do the hike and then fly immediately back out means he's not gonna get sleep for four days. This is more than exciting for us because Charlie is also more than just a friend to us. His family. And to make it more fun, we did not tell anybody that Charlie is here. His entire church has no clue. But we did give you hints. We have posted pictures where Charlie's hand is on my shoulder. I even commented there and said, a good friend, comma, and a pastor, indicating there are three people in the photo. But I don't think anybody paid attention to that. And there's another photo where Charlie's reflection is in the water, but I photoshopped Charlie out of the rock, but I don't think anybody paid attention to that either. So I think it's gonna be quite a fun moment when Charlie is gonna be sitting at church with the people at church, watching this video as it premieres, and they're gonna be, what is Charlie doing in that video? When did he go? <laughs> I can't wait to see their reactions. Okay, awesome. Right, here's, here goes in here. And you said, you said that you have room for something? Well, the first thing that happened is we got in the car. We met up with uh, Rhoda's parents and Joy, who's uh, with them. And Suhail says, you've got a flat tire in the back. Oh, my goodness. Uh, we're going to fill up some air in the gas station and then go with it like this. Charlie said it should be fine as long as it's in the back wheel. This is my fifth flat tire in two years. Front wheel, you lose control and you do end overs and bad crash, bad stuff. It's on you, Charlie. Oh yeah, <laughs> it'll be on me. <laughs> We're getting close to our starting point of the hike, which is right at the gates of Jericho. Let's pull over here and unpack. Yeah, this is it. So she gets out and says, well, look at this. This is a great place to go down. There are steps. Looks like it's going to be so easy. And I looked down and I thought, how is this going to be easy? It looks like there's a drop. So maybe take a second thought about this. When I planned this hike a few days ago, I initially wanted us to stop right here, climb down this mountain, cross the river, climb up on the other side, and start the hike.
I have a little bit of problem with heights and I'm absolutely freaked out. Suhail standing there with his toes hanging over the edge. Sergio's next to him, maybe six inches further back. And I'm clinging to the car. I just, I don't want to go over that edge. And so I suggested the guys, let's do this. And they're saying, well, we're not sure about this. I said, okay, you know, it's an open country, let's vote. So we voted, I was outvoted. Well, please be careful, okay? <laughs> you better be careful. <laughs> it's a little embarrassing. <laughs> what? No. no, it's like we reveal our uh, private, uh, I mean, it's it's like our private life. You were, <laughs> Where are you going? Take care. Okay. All right. Take care, everybody. Thank you so much. You we'll too. see you soon. We had to cross over to the other side of the canyon. And since my plan to climb down was downvoted, we decided to walk to the gates of Jericho, where the cliffs are low, walk down to the river, and hike back up to the other side where the ancient Jericho path is. Okay, we're on the Jericho Trail. Thousands of years old trail path laid out by Donkey's people. Jesus spoke about this path. Let's get going. Can you imagine all of the work that went into making these walls up here? I mean, you gotta figure, this is in the heat, in the barren desert, they built all of that. That is incredible. The beginning of that hike, that section, it is so beautiful. You're just walking on this edge. Gorgeous views of Jericho behind you, the cliffs ahead of you. Wow, Jesus walked this. Those goats? Those are goats over there. You got about a hundred of them on the side of the... Uh... There were goats everywhere. You're out in the middle of absolutely nowhere. There's almost nothing to eat except thorn bushes and literally that's about it. And yet there are goats everywhere. And you wonder where do they get their food from? Oh, goats. Are you going to pet them? So we are the St. George Monastery. It was built in the 4th and 5th century by monks that came into Wadikelt, this area, this region, to live the monastic life. When the Muslims came in the 6th, 7th century, they attacked this area. This place was ransacked. 40 monks were murdered, but George survived. He was imprisoned, but he survived. Unfortunately, we can't go in because there is no filming allowed inside, at least according to this sign. No cameras, no dogs. So we're going to send you a scene to look in and describe us what he sees. just climbed to the base level. I said, okay, looks cool. But then I started going up and higher and higher. And you can actually see all this view from you know, the mountaintops that gets 180 degrees. It's so cool. It's amazing, amazing view. And I actually have a really nice life. <laughs> I saw three apartments with electricity and plumbing. And I thought, you're not allowed to film there. But then I saw all the Russian uh, pilgrims filming and taking pictures, so I took advantage and I took pictures and videos. So I got some good ones. <laughs> <laughs> so let's see them. <laughs> Those look like pretty sweet houses. 
with plumbing and electricity. Sergio and Charlie are waiting just behind that wall. At this point, we thought we had made a huge progress by getting here. But little did we know, this was only the beginning. From St. George Monastery, we continued the little ancient path that climbs all the way up to the top of the cliff. Yossi was in the rescue unit in the military. He still goes every year for training in the reserves. He does hiking all the time. I call him a professional hiker. If it's tough on Yossi, I don't recommend taking this path. Yo, that's how it gets the speed. Where is it coming from? Wow, that's the spot. We have been walking for so long and to find water in the middle of a desert is... That's a water slide, an ancient water slide. All I want to do is just jump right in. Woo! Oh, it's gold! <laughs> we are at the ancient water slide in the middle of the Judean desert. This is marvelous. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is absolutely one of the best experiences of my life. <laughs> oh. That's the life. Look behind there. You've got a couple of trees around the oasis and there is nothing in the distance. Everything is dead and that's the way it would be without this aqueduct. It's incredible. After getting refreshed in the water, we continued our journey to Jerusalem. Winterland, tell me all your secrets. Fill me in on your wildest moments. Colored trees, your yellow leaves move me. Dancing moves your painted red shakes the room. Get... According to my plans, we were supposed to take a left turn and walk up the ancient Roman road that connects with the modern Highway 1 and leads to Jerusalem. This would have been a relatively easy and a fast route. Jerusalem is a little higher than I expected. How did you guys make it up so fast? <laughs> Goat power. But when we got to the turn, we figured Charlie didn't fly half across the world to take the easy route. So we decided to continue straight into the unknown. There's just no end to how much we have to go in the water. We're coming up here to this place that is so narrow that they've marked for people to go through that you can't get through if you have a bag on your back. This is really cool. This is like a three-man operation, backpacks, jumping down the cliffs. This is kind of my kind of stuff. In a safe, very safe way. Charlie decided to take this hike barefoot. First, I'm barefoot all of my life, even when I'm preaching. And secondly, think of the money that I save on shoes that you have to spend. Come on. It is unbelievable. I'm all for it. You can't even walk on the floor barefoot in the house. It's a man thing. We 
we thank you for a wonderful, wonderful day behind us and uh, just a real adventure we've had. We thank you for the safety you've given us. And Lord, we pray for a safe day ahead and the day that's coming tomorrow. And for right now, we ask that you bless this wonderful food that Yossi's made. And we thank you for it. We give you praise and glory because you're infinitely worthy of it. And we do so in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. The eggs came out just right. The peppers burned a little bit. Tomatoes. Look what Charlie loves. Charlie, you love tomatoes, right? Uh, they're my favorite. I eat tomatoes day and night. <laughs> I don't like tomatoes. Yossi, I got to tell you, this is the, the best shashuka I've ever had in my life. <laughs> That's the only shashuka he ever had in his life. <laughs> Guys, you got to do some stretches. Oh, you're kidding. Yeah. After a whole day walk, you have to stretch because your muscles are hurting. And if you don't do it, the next day you'll be so stiff you won't be able to walk. So let's do some, yeah, some arm stretches. Arm stretcher. Okay. Oh, but this is really stressing oh, my neck. This is hurting me. Hurry this up. is yeah. hurting my neck. Is oh. that it? So you see this, guys? This is basically the Israeli version of Raymond noodles, but we call it Manachama. So all you need to do is just pop this and add some hot water. Ah. It's it's boiling. Manachama. Okay. Mmm. Manachama. 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 Day two. Here we go. can't really see what's going on at the first hill. All we see is a hill and then we see our destination. And so we walk and we come to a place where the hill goes around and we go around that. It's a long, difficult journey. And when we look and there's another hill and it goes around and it comes back and it's a long journey. And then there's another one. And by the time you get done, you look back and you see what you've gone through. It is really astonishing, but you can't see it at the beginning. And you think, oh, this is gonna be easy. It's not. And just hiking through here makes me think about David. He must have been so hungry and thirsty. I mean, this is just crazy. Here we are on a little adventure with backpacks full of supplies. And those men went out there and they did what was absolutely astonishing. King David went on battles in these hills. He and his men mustered and marched all night through hills like this to engage battle the next day and you think of what those men went through. We took, we took about three liters of water per person, but it turned out to be not enough for two days. And so we're running low on water. It's getting tough. It is really astonishing when you're walking through the desert and then suddenly there's water. so exhausted, faces down, just walking and walking. I've never appreciated water as much as I do now. And then we see this water. Wow! It's gonna help me stay. I cannot explain in words the feeling after walking for all this time in the heat with no shade to go into water. It's gonna have a for the whole trip, we walked in a barren desert and it was so hot and it was so dry and we got to the end of it and we were in desperate need of water. And what we found was that there was a source of water right towards the end that reinvigorated us in a way that we just were so happy 
We were so filled with joy at that. Stopping at this natural pool of water was the best call of the day. And that is like our own spiritual lives. We come into this world and we're apart from God. We're in a desert, we're in a wasteland, and our lives are incomplete without that water. And then we come to Christ and He provides it. And He reinvigorates us and gives us a hope that we now have, which fills us for all eternity. We're done with the trail that is in the mountains, woods, reeds, rivers, and now we're on to a paved path to Jerusalem. I can't believe this is where Jeremiah the prophet was raised, where he lived in the Bible. It's called Anatote. And it's hard to imagine, you think, what it must be like, trees and rivers and stuff. Instead, he's living out in the middle of this barren, barren wilderness. It's just hard to imagine until you actually see it. Charlie, are you looking forward to climbing this road up? Uh, yes and no. No, because it's gonna really, really stink. But yes, because we're gonna be that much closer to where we're going. Climbing this hill just feels like we're so close. We just gotta keep on going. Keep on going, we're almost there. On this last ascent, I think I'm going to pass out. It is so difficult. My heart is beating so fast. Living for one step at a time. We've just, where is it? We've just come from that hill all the way there, all the way down into the desert, all the way around that way. Jerusalem. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. Unbelievable. David fought all around these hills. Can you imagine? We drove by car to Jericho and then walked to Jerusalem, but Jesus walked from Nazareth to Jerusalem three times a year. The Galilee all the way down here. He walked to Jericho. He walked back. It's just unbelievable. 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 What I understood from this hike is that you need shadow and you need water and I just can't help thinking this is what Christ is for us. He quenches our thirst and He's protecting us. We're finally here. You did it. <laughs> Let's finish what we started. Let's do it. Let's go. Okay, and now the GoPro will take over. Okay, I, I don't. So, how's the experience, guys? 